So guys, today we're having a look at how you can get the perfect rhythm and tempo for your putting stroke by using a simple free metronome. If you get a backswing that's actually too slow to hit the putt, you'll end up over accelerating, okay? And what we see people doing is that they force the handle forwards. And what this does is it changes the loft. It's gonna then change the strike. And we know that the start line and everything on the putter is completely dictated by face angle, okay? Path of the stroke is not going to have any implications on draws or slices like it does on a full golf swing. Okay, so we know it's all about face angle and that can change a lot with tempo. Conversely, if you go too far back, too fast and then you're decelerating maybe the putter's pass in hand and strike starts to go so strikes getting up and down on the face which you mean on long putts it's very very difficult to control how far you're actually going to hit that putt so what we've got here is i have got my phone okay and i've got this really simple app called the metro timer okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start off and i'm going to start off at 90 beats per minute okay i'm going to hit two puts at 90 beats per minute i'm just going to let it flow for a minute hit a couple of practice strokes kind of get a feel for it hit a put and see how that relates to my stroke okay and then adjust accordingly okay so we've got the kind of metronome going right here okay so that feels a bit slow for me, so I'll just take my normal stroke. I won't adjust to the beeps, okay? I'm gonna try and go on the beep and then follow through on the beep. So I know that that's just a bit slow. I feel like I'm finishing my follow through before the second beep's in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to up this by 10 beeps. So I'm gonna just up this to 100 beeps. So that feels kind of a bit more how I would expect my putting to be kind of the noise like bang, 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 bang. Let's just kind of see where it's at. So obviously just trying to get a real feel for it here. So I'm actually just hitting like 12 footers here. I'm not aiming at a target. You know, so you could just be hitting to like a T peg and just getting an overall feel for what that stroke's going to be. I feel like maybe just a bit quicker than that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up 10 beats and then Hopefully, that's going to be somewhere near. So that feels, that's at 110. That feels a, I mean, be a bit quick, but we'll see. Let's have a little look here. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely a bit quick for me. So I'm just going to drop this down to 105. This is something you can all do at home before the season. It's something that you can really, really work at and practice and get the Hello darkness, my old friend. Whoops. So what we wanted to do is we are looking at, this is something you can work at at home. So what we're saying is it gives you the ability to work at your tempo for your stroke before the season even starts. Okay, so you can figure out what your tempo is, you're owning your stroke, and therefore this is something that you can do at home, get in a feel for, and then you've already made that preparation before the greens start to get good, rather than the season starting and then doing all the work just because the greens are getting good. This is a great time of year to get this and find out what number works for you. So I'm figuring that 105 is pretty good for me. So right here, it feels really solid. 105, I'm really happy with that. You know, it's got to just then just get that overall feeling for making sure that I'm getting stroke back and through i feel like i'm really getting good contact on that i'm really pleased with it so dead simple to get these things guys you know they're just simple downloads of free of charge on your app on your phone on your computer tablet you know you can use it anywhere and i believe that this will make a big difference to your putty because if you're giving it if you're delivering it at a consistent pace every time okay the chances then are that you're going to deliver a consistent face angle Okay, and then getting the same contact point on the face will be really, really easy. So they're the bits that I would be working at if I was you. Get the feeling, find out your tempo. You know, if one feels a bit slow, just up it, up it by 10 each time. You know, and then you get one maybe feels a bit quick. You might take your 20, 30 puts. And then who knows, that 105 might be absolutely perfect for me, but with a bit of refinement of hitting puts over a week, I might find that it's 103. We have a look at the tour players' numbers. KJ Choi is at 90 with David Toms. We have got Phil Mickelson at 100. 
We've then got uh, Tiger Woods at 112, and we've got Aaron Badley, who's the fastest putter on tour, statistically in terms of time he spends on the green over the ball. He's at 125. So some great putters all in there, all at different numbers, but they're all doing their own thing for themselves. So find your numbers and figure them out and what's going to work for your game. Okay. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, guys. If you'd like to see any more videos on this sort of thing pre-season and some putting, let us know. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thanks for watching and talk with you again very soon.